How many of you enjoy networking? More than expected. Is networking important? Of course. I'm going to talk today a little bit about my history with networking and backing it up with a few statistics and getting into one of my favorite topics of LinkedIn. Why network? The difference between a closed network and an open network. A closed network basically is the people that you see in your office every day. Is this good? Possibly, you like your coworkers, that's not a problem. But in Calgary these days, we're having some economic problems. And what happens when all of your coworkers disappear? which has been happening. And so the difference between a closed network in terms of the people that you see regularly, the people that you communicate with regularly that do this, a similar job that you do. The opposite of that is an open network. An open network is when you meet other people, you spread your wings further. This is important. Because when you spread your wings further, you introduce yourself to more people. In a time of economic downturn, like what's happening in Calgary right now, it's maybe the person you know can't give you a job. But the person they know, or two or three generations down, a friend of a friend of a friend. This is more possible. One thing that I learned when I came to Calgary, I came to Calgary just under a year ago. I knew zero people in this town, other than my brother and two university friends. They didn't have jobs for me. All right? And so I got into Toastmasters last June. I've been very active. I'm going to give examples of where I've been active. But networking, in Calgary especially, Calgary's a networked town. When you go for a job, People want to back channel and talk about you. Very interesting. LinkedIn. LinkedIn has been a tool that I have used for many years, very close to when it first came available. LinkedIn, when I was in Korea, I couldn't do the job that I did when I was hired at a graduate research institute. They asked me to design the curriculum. There was nobody in my city, nobody that I knew of in Korea that could help me. LinkedIn, LinkedIn groups, people that have common interests, that aren't in your local network, but still do something similar that you're interested in. And so LinkedIn, LinkedIn for me coming to Calgary has also been important because as I grow, as I go to different events, my contact list grows. In 2015, was it, 2015 was a very, very bad year for me economically. I've already, in 2016, made more contacts for money than I did in all of 2015. We're first month, of, or first month, or first four weeks of 2016. When designing a LinkedIn page, there are a few things that you need to do. Make sure you have a picture. If you're reaching out and you're trying to network with people, it's the same as when I come up and introduce myself. Hi, nice to meet you. Can you imagine me with no head? <laughs> right? If you're reaching out to people online, they need to know a little bit about you. They need to know that you're a real person, that you're not a spam bot. Right? The picture is the first thing that you need to do. There are a few other things that you need to do. There are many things. Position, education, picture, summary. There are many things that you need to do. Do it. If you're trying to reach out to people, they need to know who you are. 
make them comfortable, experience, go through this summary. And one of the things in the summary that's very important is if you're trying to connect with people, you need to bring value to the conversation. If I come up to you at a networking event and I go, hi, I'm John, and I did this, 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 this. Is that exciting? Do you want to talk to me again? No. Sorry. It's the same thing when you set up a LinkedIn profile or any other profile when you're communicating online. What value do you bring to the conversation? How can you help people? Right? The more people you can help, the more people that will help you expand your network. They'll say good things about you. There's not just LinkedIn. There's Facebook. Everybody has Facebook. Twitter, not so common. The difference between these, though, LinkedIn, Twitter, and uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Family, right? Twitter or Facebook for me is all about family. Twitter, is that me? That's actually my dad. My dad when he was young. Twitter is, to me is more anonymous. LinkedIn is professional. Facebook is for family. These are things that also, when you're networking, can affect you. The average LinkedIn user makes a salary of over $100,000. The average Facebook user makes a salary in the range of about $60,000. The average Twitter user is between forty-five dollars and $50,000. If you are networking for business, which is the better tool for you? LinkedIn, the, the one that generates people have the most income, the most value, okay? I have been a very active networker in the last six months. Toastmasters, kick things off. Momentum, make your mark. These are other business events. CIBN is a referral network. There are tons of meetups in Calgary. Go to them, open network. There's one tomorrow night that has the title is Beer and Wings. Very nice meetup, right? You basically go and you meet people, you drink beer, eat, eat wings, and talk. In general, what should you do? Join clubs, be active, get outside your comfort zone, join organizations, go to conferences. Conferences, okay, it's in your area again, but even better, to, in terms of networking, I found is that if you present at conferences, because in a room now, everybody wants to come talk to you, right? You have provided value, so they want to come talk to you. Today's theme was talking about personality, introvert or extrovert. Brennan has said, many people perceive me as an extrovert. I have to tell you, no, I am a true introvert who has learned that when you go out, it doesn't matter if you are uncomfortable. If you want to get a job, if you want to expand your network, you have to get off your butt. Go pretend. Thank you.